Hello and welcome to Mircom's exhibition at ISC West 2013, April 10th to 12th, 2013 in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm going to introduce you to some of our new product offering, namely the TX3 community. And we're going to start right here with our beautiful touchscreen telephone entry system. So the 15 inch telephone entry system provides you with a standard user directory on screen with integrated advertising multimedia features. So the integrated advertising multimedia features allow you to present relevant services and uh, equipment for the local tenants in a specific property. What you can do as a realtor, for example, is advertise rental apartments or condominiums for sale in an area similar to the condominium that a user is visiting to. Additionally, we provide a call banner which displays after a call is activated. The call banner can display local services such as lawyers, doctor's offices, dry cleaners, or even taxi services. And there's an integrated scheduler that allows you to place the ads at different time periods throughout the entire week. The telephone entry system is a new twist on the standard LCD and keypad equipment, providing the same security with the added bonus of the multimedia and a customizable user interface for the property. New for 2013, we've extended the telephony capabilities of this panel to add an additional module that supports both voice and video calling over IP. In order to complete the infrastructure for the voice and video call over IP, we've also introduced our new 10-inch tablet computer, which you might see behind me. So I'm going to give you a quick demo of the futuristic version of an apartment or a condominium or a high-rise building, such as an office tower as well, and how the video call sequence will happen. The first thing I do is search for the tenant that I want to communicate with on my touchscreen panel. When I find that tenant, I push the call button. The tenant details can be programmed to communicate either through the standard telephone and telephony equipment or to use the video and voice over IP interface. So we see on my tenant station, I now have a video call that is being requested at the user interface. I answer that call, and through our integrated TX3 IP network, the panel at the touchscreen and the panel inside of the tablet in the user suite are establishing a SIP call to allow people to see what's happening in the lobby and to communicate two-way via audio. We see here now, actually David, who's helping me, David Sylvester, recording this, immediately he's behind the camera and he's visible through the touchscreen itself. So, Thank you very much, David. I'm now going to allow you to enter the building. So I'm going to click the open door button on the touchscreen tablet itself. That session has ended. And we see here on the main unit that the main door is now open. So it's the standard features that you had experienced with telephony, now over the power of IP. Where we can now extend the functionality of this tablet inside of the user suite is doing suite-to-suite -suite video intercom calls. So, with an integrated portal that manages the different occupants of the building, I can establish relationships with other users within the building. Once we've established each other as friends, I have a directory of those tenants that I want to communicate with available to me on my tenant contacts. So I'll pick one of my friends in the building, and now I'll initiate a video call to their suite on the other side of the property. here on the other side of the property that a call is being requested. I can now answer that call on this beautiful 10-inch tablet that runs a full Linux operating system. And as the video appears on Suite A, I can also see Suite A's video coming in on Suite B. Now, how do we support this video? There's firstly a beautiful 5 megapixel video camera integrated inside each of the units. That couples with a beautiful Class D stereo speaker sound system to give you the full audibility functionality that you require to have those video calls back and forth. I want to talk for a moment now about some of the other offerings in this line of products. So beyond the 15 inch touchscreens, we have a 22 inch unit here as well. You can already get thinking about some of the advantages of having the 22 inch unit. Not only can you provide those same multimedia videos available on the 15 inch unit, but now you can also split your interface to have full-time advertising if the market in your area will support that. I can click in and I see an extended version of the directory. So I can see more tenant names with one screen without having to scroll as I do on the 15 inch units. Same database used for the telephone entry system, the security system, the card access system is populated in our TX3 configurator. The TX3 configurator is the central nervous system or the brains of this whole ecosystem. This allows you to add tenants to the properties, remove tenants from the properties, and also modify the different credentials that you use with each of these systems. 
We've extended what we have in terms of standard card reader offerings or card reader plus pin offerings to also add a beautiful line of wireless lock sets from ASA Apple. So what we now have is a full online access control system that allows you to have raw credential that satisfies your requirements for your standard card readers, your NASA Apple wireless lock set readers, and your gate controllers as well. The protocol for the NASA Apple to our system is Zigbee using this convenient hub which we connect into our access control controllers for the integrated database. It's a very, very nice solution, but to top it off, we have some more features which we offer through what we call the TX3 Community Portal. The TX3 Community Portal, what you see behind me here, is a full web-based system that allows you to plug in modules and components to give you interactive features between both the property manager of the security services of the building and the individual tenants in the buildings. Tenants can communicate with each other through forums, buy sell classifieds, or bulletin board system inherent within the portal. But the real power here is for the property manager to electronify all the different maintenance requests and service requests that tenants are asking of the property management companies in the buildings. Let me give you the scenario today. When you move out and you change your telephone number, you have to trudge downstairs and find the property manager. If they're not at the desk, maybe you leave a post-it note behind. By the time they call you back, collect your information, two or three days might have gone by to update your information for the directory. Nobody can communicate with you in your suite. In the new style communication environment, what the tenant does is he has distributed control over his information. You no longer have a centralized bottleneck through the property manager office. Each of the tenants are now responsible for making their own updates to the system. They submit the information through the portal, the property manager shows up the next day, and all he has to do is approve the 10 changes which are already guaranteed to be correct because they're entered by the tenants themselves. What we think here is that with the new property management solution tied into the access control, the telephone entry system, and the tablet offerings, it's the number one access control with integrated security solution on the market today. Now, what you can do to go beyond the standard access control and security offering. These tablets here, being that they are smart systems, providing an entire Linux architecture underneath them, they can be used for all of the fancy smart home automation applications that people are looking for today. So you can add your lighting control application, your uh, energy management application, HVAC control application, through a suite of peripherals which we communicate back to our main controller. The device itself works as a server. The server takes modular components such as a Bluetooth module, a Wi-Fi module, a Z-Wave module, or even a Zigbee module to communicate with the devices which get placed throughout the tenant suite. So you replace your standard light switch or dimmer with a Zigbee-enabled dimmer. Same thing for your AC outlets. You have a plug-in module which can communicate wirelessly back to the server with your plug-in modules. That allows you to control those circuits from a remote location or through the tablet itself. The power of the solution lies in the flexibility to add best-of-breed third-party peripherals and software systems onto our controller. We don't like to force people to buy our peripherals, nor do we like to force them to use our own software. It's a very open and flexible system where the end user can choose the peripherals and software that they like to use best for each application. So that's pretty well the TX3 community overview that we're presenting to you today. I hope you had a great time at the show and we look forward to talking to you again soon.